So hi everybody, we are at the Hi5 Open Social Hackathon. I'm Patrick Chanazon from Google and uh, today I'm interviewing uh, Charles Ying from Pixverse. Hi Charles. Hi, hi Patrick. So tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, well, uh, I've been a developer for many years working in consumer space and mobile space. And recently, uh, me and a few guys got together and founded a startup called Pixverse. And Pixverse is a next generation virtual world company. Uh, we're aiming to make virtual worlds easy and accessible for everyone and bring the virtual world to you. So for us, uh, in this case, we're going to bring virtual worlds to your social network. And, uh, so what's interesting about Open Social is that um, we've been uh, working on a few apps for Open Social based on a virtual world platform. And we found it to be a great tool. It's, it's got a lot of fun things. We're all JavaScript folks, so for us it's, uh, it feels very natural. If you're a Facebook developer, you'll find that um, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a different thinking model, but we've talked to a lot of Facebook developers, and we're one as well, we have an application on Facebook. Uh, it is possible to do, and there are lots of developers who are able to make that switch and build open social applications. And it's great because once you build your application, it runs on all the networks. Although my advice to, to those of you building them is that you should really consider the, uh, the market and the users on each of the networks. It's sort of like cross-platform UI design. It really doesn't exist. You need to craft it for each experience to make sure it works right for those users. Excellent. Uh, so Charles, tell me a little bit more about Pixwall, the excellent application that we demoed at the Graphing Social Patterns last week uh, running in Orkut and hi -Fi. Oh, Oh, yeah. So, uh, Pixwall is a, an experiment we did um, to test out our virtual world platform. It's a real-time virtual bulletin board that's in 2D, and you can post photos, videos, notes, and fun stickers and animations on a bulletin board in real time. And what's interesting about it is uh, if anyone else is looking at your bulletin board at the same time you are, you can both collaboratively uh, add stuff so they can add their photos, you can add your photos, and you can chat and send each other sticky notes all on the bulletin board. And you can even put on your profile, and the same thing happens. Any profile viewer can uh, come and post stuff on the board as well and see an update real time. So that's that's Pixwall, and uh, we ported it to Open Social. And we also had it on Facebook before, and uh, so that's that's one of our applications. We have many more to come. Uh, since we're a virtual world company, uh, which I can't really talk about, but uh, that's some fine. Stuff coming. <laughs> we're looking forward to see them. <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh, how about uh, what are you using on the back end for? Oh well, um, Pixwall actually exercises a lot of interesting technology. Um, the Flash client that we have built Pixwall in has a lot of interesting capabilities. It has a um, built-in Verlay 2D physics engine, built in, which takes up roughly. 50k of flash, and um, that's loaded, streamed in real time. Uh, the base core virtual world platform is uh, 50k in itself. It's completely data driven, so all the UI, all the functionality is driven by our backend servers. And uh, our backend servers are pretty interesting. They are all lock free, concurrent, uh, horizontally distributed uh, server nodes, so they can all manage concurrency in a very scalable fashion. We have some other crazy stuff like our, our client is able to actually execute a in-memory um, uh, smaller language, sort of a Lisp-like language, uh, on the client side. So we run game logic and game code that way as well. We can also play videos and embed other files in as well. And uh, some other goodies that I'll talk about later. Excellent. For, for the servers, do you, do you have your own servers or do you use any hosting provider? Oh uh, yeah, we, we have our own servers. Uh, they're, everything's virtual, so they're hosted off-site. Um, we do some storage stuff using Amazon S3. And uh, we use a lot of uh, APIs from third-party web services like Google, YouTube, and uh, MySpace TV, and uh, lots of photo vendors like PhotoBucket. So we just aggregate all these web services very easily uh, into our system. Are you using the new YouTube Atom Pub API? Uh, we are. Yeah, we pull data and pull information and the, the Swift files 
from YouTube. Excellent. You can well, play videos right there on, on your full support. So what, uh, what, what language is your server developed in? Uh, it's all written in Python. So, um, Excellent. It's a, it's a completely asynchronous, uh, persistent connection backend server. It's very scalable. And uh, what's interesting is we launch our applications and they're all running in production. We have 12,000 users and we hit maybe 1% load on one machine. So, and the whole server is designed to be able to scale horizontally. So, when users start coming, we just start adding nodes. And uh, we may call up Google and add some extra servers if we need extra ones. Excellent. Do, do you have any uh, fun stories to tell our, our listeners? I do. I have one. It's, it's, it's actually involving Pixwall. Um, so, uh, the guys at High Five wanted to do a demo of Pixwall at this conference in San Diego. Uh, but the Orchid guys also did too. And yeah. Patrick asking for this. <laughs> and so we said, we're sitting here Friday at 3 p.m. and the demo is on Tuesday. So we said, Okay, well, it's already on high five. Let's see what would happen. So we went to Orchid and realized that one of the developers doesn't have an account, but, but I did, so we started using those. That took 10 minutes of our time. And uh, we started at 3, ended at 3.50. So it took us about 50 minutes to port our application from high five to Orchid. And uh, the next week, we went to MySpace and uh, went to their hackathon. Really cool stuff. and. Um, we said, okay, well, how do we get our port from Hi5 to MySpace? And so we just did a bit of coding. Um, it's a little bit of different UI, so we changed a little bit of UI. And uh, it took a little bit longer than we expected, but it took 90 minutes <laughs> to get up and running on MySpace. So that's a testament to, to how good the platform is. That, that's my fun story for open social. <laughs> hey, thanks very much, Charles. That's yeah. a great story. Thanks, okay. thanks very much, Patrick. <laughs> thanks for the interview. Yeah.